hey guys welcome back to another video so today's video we are going to talk about iucd have you ever heard people talking about iucd babies do you know that there are some failure rate right? so let's talk about iucd let's see some of the side effects let's see the reason why it can fail because there are so many people who have given birth with iucd interuterine fetal devices inside their uterus and the time they're delivering you get that the baby is holding the that thing that thing so let's talk about it and uh, you will tell me in the comment section what you want me to say so if you have not subscribed please kindly subscribe make sure you turn your notification bell and then yeah so returning subscribers thank you very much for always clicking in and those who are passing by for the first time welcome my name is Anne Ruka. i do nursing content vlog lifestyle lifestyle and so many content in this channel so if you're new here feel welcome and subscribe if you have not subscribed so an interuterine contraceptive device is a small piece of a flexible plactis with or without copper around it we have hormonal part of it and we have copper releasing part of it so the copper increased effectiveness of this interuterine fetal devices and then we have modern iucd are highly effective and and they can easily be inserted in and removed when you want so iucd is inserted into the uterus through the vagina and the cervix by a trained family planning provider and is left in place with the string hanging hanging through the cervix into the vagina so the client will be able to check if it is inside or it has come out and it's all it's uh, it is always advisable that when you are menstruating you go uh, you check if the iucd has come out so it provides continuous protection against pregnancy for a maximum of uh, uh, 12 years or 10 years depending with of which type of iucd you are using and now this one brings us to the types now there are two broad types of iucd we have the copper releasing where we have the copper t with some numbers there and then we have multi-load and then nova t those are types of copper t releasing iucd and then also we have progesterone releasing which is mm, mirena those are some of the types we have copper releasing and the uh, hormonal releasing so do you want to know how this iucd usually work do you want to know how this iucd usually work what is the mode of action so no single mechanism of action but the following are uh, postulated so number one it works like other family planning that i have already talked about is it interfere with the ability of the sperms to pass through the uter uh, the, the, the the uterine cavity another one it it interferes with the productive process before the ovum reaches the uterus uh, the uterine cavity and that mostly it's copper t uh, or copper releasing and then also it can also thicken the cervical mucus and most of them is progesterone releasing and the last one we have uh, they change the endometrial lining whereby this is the progesterone releasing is the one that change the endometrium so we have some types of iucd available in kenya because we say that the broad the broad types we have the copper releasing and the and the um, hormonal releasing and we get that under this we also have different types in this broad type of iucd so under copper releasing we have copper t we have tcu we have the copper t 200 we have the nova t multi-load and we have uh yeah those ones 
and uh, they can protect you from getting pregnant for a maximum of 12 years yeah we have some that protect you uh, from getting pregnant for a period of eight years five years and three years is the least and then also under the hormonal resisting we have the mirena and the lugos and those ones protect you from getting pregnant for a period of five years so maybe you are asking how does this copati look like i will show you in the picture yeah i will show you in the i will just show you in the picture i will just show you in the picture so this is how it looks like this is how it looks like and then it is inserted into the uterus through the cervix and then these are the things that will hold the will, will hold it in place this side and this side and then there is a string that will come from the vagina and the, the client will be in a position to check if the uh, the IUCD is in place yeah that is how it looks like and we have the devices that uh, somebody can use to insert it inside yeah so we have different types of them but right now I can only show you that one so somebody is calling just give me a minute and then, then I will come back so these people used to disturb me even when I'm shooting a video sorry I'm sorry for that but let's continue so we have some contraceptive benefits and number one it is high effective and safe also it provide i mean it is effective immediately and the next one it is long-term protection and the last one immediately returning to fertility is uh, available if you are using this property or hormonal releasing when you remove a ucd immediately the, uh, upon removing you will return to fertility so those are some of the contraceptive benefits that a ucd have and then also you should know that the ucd can only be inserted with a, a trained healthcare provider that is the gynecologist the doctor the nurse and maybe someone who is trained in the field of family planning another thing that uh, i have to say that it doesn't protect you from getting hiv and uh, um stis it doesn't protect you from getting that you can get it if you don't use protection and you're having sex with someone who have this kind of diseases another thing it can also come out it can also come out so it is always advisable that uh, when it uh, when it has been inserted uh, you will go for checkup after three three months and then after that you will go for another checkup for six months after six months not for six months after six months then after one year and then after every one year so that you ensure that this thing is in place yeah and also when you are menstruating you are always advised that you check if it has come out yeah because it can come out when you are uh, menstruating when it is not uh, in place so those are some of the things that you have to know when you are using the IUCD. So IUCD, it can be removed anytime you want to remove it. Yeah, it, if you want to get pregnant, maybe you have not uh, reached the maximum uh, years of protection, but you want to remove it because you want to get pregnant, you can just remove it. And also, this IUCD, when it is not uh, in the right place, somebody can get pregnant. Uh, it can also get perforation. It can perforate the uterus when it is inserted with a trained uh, person. Uh, it can come out. Yeah, it can come out. So, those are some of the uh, things that you have to know about this IUCD. So another thing that I'm almost forgetting, it can cause heavy bleeding and those cramps, those normal 
uh, how do you call the normal side effects of uh, contraceptives it can cause those uh, prolonged bleeding um, spotting so when you realize those things are happening to you and you're using these interuterine fetal devices kindly come to the hospital so that they check and see if is it in place is it uh, perforating the uterus is it uh, some of the side effects and all those so i think i've reached the end of this video so if you've not subscribed kindly do so please kindly subscribe why do you say uh, i'm not saying supporting other people are bad but i just want to tell you that you as you support those people who are also are already in them in the in the field of content creation kindly also support my content because i'm only requesting i'm only requesting you please kindly okay in a serious note kindly subscribe like share and comment if you want me to talk about something or if you want to uh, want to ask me something please you can just write in the comment section and bye till next time let's meet in the next video we are still continuing with the pregnancy series and we have done now with all the hormonal contraceptive now we are going to start on natural family planning and then we will finish with barrier method akina condom so stay tuned make sure you watch all this content because i've decided that i should that i i, I have to talk about each and every contraceptive that i know that have that that exist so make sure that you follow you follow okay make sure you follow